is a beautiful spot. I'm in the top of a hill. Here's the uh, line of sight that you can see from here. If I scan over here, you can't see it from this camera view, but if you go straight in the direction ahead of me here, you will see some chimney stacks that are still in existence from the Civil War. And they were Confederate huts that's right along that road down there. Um, <clears throat> I got permission to hunt the woods. The railroad tracks are right in this direction here. The railroad tracks go from Gordonsville to Orange Courthouse to Culpeper. So my goal is to try to stay somewhere where I can uh, find a location which overlooks those tracks. And then you see this uh, trail right here which leads further down into the woods. We'll explore that also. It looks like a pretty good 40 or 50 acres that I can hunt. I've never been here before. Other relic hunters have. You hear a train going through now. So that's how close I am to the railroad tracks. So we'll give it a good shot see what we can come up with. Hopefully we get some bullets out of this location. Basketball. 69 caliber round ball. What I dug, I think, is a very nice button here. Take a look at this. I thought it was an eagle button when I first popped it out of the ground. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's got the N and the C on each side of the star. It might be a Hillsboro Military Academy button. I'm just guessing because I can't see what the writing is right now. But I just recovered this. Got a little bit of gold on it, so that's going to clean off nice. Praise the Lord. Okay, so I'm done my day in the woods today. Had a pretty good day. Didn't expect to stay at the spot long, but I ended up finding a lot of good artifacts. So that just kept me going. So we've got a couple gardeners here, five, nine round balls, and we had um, three Italian Garibaldi's, 69 caliber Carcanos, they call them. Two were perfect, and one was flattened. This one right here. See this uh, interesting knife. It's uh, the blade is out. It's really old. It was deep. So I'm gonna clean it when I get home a little bit. See if there's any markings. I don't think it is, but that's kind of cool. And then I found this kind of like a pewter button. 
think it's still got the shank on it. Just like a pewter design. I don't know what that is, a flower. And of course the prize of the day, Hillsboro, North Carolina, Military Academy. That was nice. Still has the shank. I haven't cleaned off the dirt yet. And this ordnance button, coat size. Nice also. The rim fell off when I was pulling it out of the ground. I've got part of the rim in my sack. So we'll see what we can do. Try to fix that. Try to put it back together again. But it's still relatively good shape. Probably won't have any gold on it. I think this button's going to have some gold on it. I'll have to clean that off. I think I saw little bits of gold when I had it first out of the ground. And here's all my junk. So shotgun shells, 22s, nails, lots of lead. I was focusing on a button so I was digging lots of lead today. So there were just drops everywhere. So that is my day. Good day. Very nice. So I'm back at this ridge again, but I just found another button. You can see it down in the hole there. I'm going to extract it and then we'll look at it together to see what it is. Pull it out. Alright, that's the back side. See if we have a shank. It feels like the shank is there. Pretty good size. Probably Yankee. Hope not. Hope it's Confederate. Looks like a shield. So it looks like we're going to have a eagle button of some sort. Let me see here. It is an eagle. And let me see if there's something in the shield. Still can't tell. Yep, plain eagle button. So that's a good start. I found a few musket balls already. But at least we know there's some targets in here still. Let's see if we can find a nice confederate button today. Taking a quick break here. <clears throat> I think I just dug a bullet. So let's see what it is. There have been two different types of bullets dug in here so far. Hoping that this is one of the better ones. Let me see if I can find it. Oh my goodness, where is it? Oh, there it is. Now this is one of the common ones. So this is a, a musket ball. But this one, kind of weird. Almost looks like a shotgun slug type. It's kind of in the center. It's squared off like somebody carved this one, so interesting. This is one of the ones I'll show you in another video if I find another one, uh, what the other type is. So not three minutes later, I hear another one, so let's see what this type one is. I know it's definitely a bullet, but let's see if we have the other type. Ah, yes. All right, fresh dug out of the hole. Check it out, guys. Nice Italian Carcano. Look at that. Perfect shape. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Got the C1 bean dug. Tone. And that led me to this hole right here. 
And if you look down here, I think I have some brass right there. Appears to be brass. I don't know what it could be. Be very careful with it. It looks like a button. Okay. Let's bring that thing out. It is a button. Okay, let's look at the back. That's the shank side here. Let's look it over. Let's see what we got. It looks like a flower button. Is that a flower? Yeah. Big old flower button. Nice. Oh, man, they're here. They're here. Just got to find one of those military buttons out of this spot. All right. Till next time. Check this out. This is a pretty big one. This is bigger than a normal eagle button. So let's check this one out. Brass shank. Uh, well, actually I take that back. It does have the look and feel of an eagle button. Let me turn it over and it is another eagle. Uh, let me just check to see what's in that shield. <laughs> I'm looking for my, con my second confederate button. You know, getting these eagles. There's something in that shield. Let me check it out real quick. Well, can't tell. There is nothing standing out like it would be an I or an A or anything like that. So I think it's just another eagle button. Oh well, I've got to keep plugging. He's got to find a Confederate button in here somewhere. amazed at the types of relics I'm pulling so out of here. another button and it appears to be another eagle I'll have to check to see if there's something in the shield but we've got another eagle button well I spent all day out here and I'm pretty tired but I ended up with uh, four carcanos and four military buttons, but they were all eagles. Two were eagle eyes and two were just eagle buttons. I um, was hoping for a confederate button today, but that was not the case. So with four buttons and four carcanos, um, I said, well, let me hit the spot where I got most of the relics this morning because I spent most of this afternoon kind of going down further on the hills see how large this area is it's not that big so I said well hopefully I could get a fifth carcano or maybe a fifth military button thinking that that would be confederate so I heard a signal dug a hole and let me show you what I've got coming right at the end here oh yes Carcano number five for the day. Beautiful. So I'm very happy. Good bullet day. And something that uh, I'll just have to cherish because you don't dig these type of bullets that much. Look how pretty that is. So nice. Very good. Five Carcanos today.